Now on Learning iMovie, we're going to get into working with audio sources. Right. Audio is critical. It actually boosts the production value of your movie. In fact, they say in Hollywood that audio is 50% of what you see. Uh -huh. And iMovie has a ton of tools in this regard, um, from sound effects to music cues. Let's take a look. Great. With iMovie, it's easy to add sound effects and a soundtrack to your movie. In the content library, select sound effects. From the pop-up menu, you have a choice of sound effects or iLife sound effects organized into folders. Let's select sound effects. Here are dozens of sound effects that you can sort by name or time. Let's sort by name, ascending. Now let's preview a few of them. In our project, the diver is talking about a time when it rained. So it rained on us today, and that made me really happy because we're in the middle of the ocean. And it's so let's search for a rain sound effect. I like the hard rain sound effect. Let's go with that one. We don't need the entire clip. So let's set a range of about three and a half seconds. Then we can drag it down below the clip to anchor it at the point where he's talking about the rain. Let's play that back. So it rained on us today. The sound effect is quite loud and comes on suddenly. If needed, click the timeline appearance button and make sure show waveforms is selected and then use the zoom slider to take a closer look. Let's trim the sound effect to match the duration of the video clip. This line over the waveform represents the volume of a clip. Let's drag it down to lower the volume slightly. Now let's play it back. You can also adjust the volume using the volume controls. Select the clip, click the adjust button if needed, then, in the Adjustments bar, click the speaker icon. Drag the slider to adjust the volume. You can mute the clip's audio by clicking the speaker icon next to the volume slider. One reason for adjusting the volume here is that if you have multiple clips selected, you can adjust the volume of all of them or mute all of them at once. Click the Adjust icon to close the Adjustment bar. When you move the pointer over an audio clip, little buttons appear at each end. These are fade handles. Drag them to make the audio fade in and fade out. Let's play that back. So it rained on us today and that made me really happy. By adjusting the volume and fade handles, we've made the sound effect blend into our project. You can also add a soundtrack to your movie and have it automatically adjust its volume where there are competing sounds, like people talking, for example. In the content library, you can look for music in sound effects, GarageBand, or iTunes. iMovie comes with many royalty-free songs that you can use in your movie. Select sound effects again, and this time in the pop-up menu, select theme music. These songs are great for short movies that are about a minute long. Press the play button to preview a few of them. If you need longer or shorter music options, then in the iLife Sound Effects folder, select Jingles. Let's click the header of the time column to sort by song duration, descending. Let's try out this two minute song, Jericonda. That should work well for our project. Notice at the bottom of the timeline, there's a dotted outline of a rectangle containing a musical symbol. This is the background music well. Let's double click our selected song and then drag it to this well and align the clip to the start of the project. The great thing about the background music well is that the audio placed inside it isn't connected to any other clips in your project, so it won't move around if you make adjustments to your other clips. The background music can make it hard to hear the diver talking in our movie. iMovie has a great feature to take care of that. Click the Adjust button if needed. Then, in the Adjustments bar, click the speaker icon. 
Here, we have the option to lower the volume of other clips. So let's select all the clips where the diver is talking. We can click the first one, then hold down the Command key and select the others to select them all. Then enable this checkbox. Notice how the waveform in the music track now dips down whenever our diver is speaking. You can adjust how much the volume decreases with this slider. Let's play some of the project. One of the coolest things I saw was a sea turtle. There was a sea turtle that was... Well, actually, we saw two. Very cool. Click the adjust icon to close the adjustment bar. Next, we'll look at how to add transitions, titles, and maps to your movie.